you know, there, there's not a multiplicity of doctrines. There's one faith, and from that faith comes the doctrines. And they're just, they're written down, and, and you can read them. But that doesn't mean you'll understand them. You know, I didn't understand. The scriptures understood the basic stuff. You know, Jesus, you know, died on the cross, but it didn't connect with me who Jesus was. Or why there are all these pages of writing before we said Jesus died on the cross, and then, you know, a few pages over, you have to believe in him. Or, you know, that kind of thing. Or, you know, John 3, you know, you have to believe in Jesus Christ, but then you don't know who the man is. It becomes one more religious ritual that you go through. So I'm going to be a good person when you're not justified by the law. You say, well, I'm going to be, um, I'm going to follow the ritual. Well, the Jews, Jews were circumcised. The Jews supposedly believed in God. They supposed all this stuff. They, they were in the right religion. They had, had done the right rituals. And uh, God said, you're, you're of your father the devil just as I was of my father the devil, but not anymore. Um, but, you know, you can say, well, you know, and, and you can follow these rituals, and you can follow this church and say, well, this church is right. Well, there are supposedly three about 3,000 denominations, even just in the United States, of the Christian religion. Jesus said that they would be one. Can, can this church associate with this church? Well, no, they're different denominations. Um, that's not what Jesus prayed for. That's a rebuke of the, do, of the, of the uh, denominational system. You know, I used to be a part of, of several denominations, or at least attended them, and um, believed what they taught. But sectarianism is not a part of Christianity. Um, so you can go to these churches and stuff like that and say, well, we're going to have, we're going to make it more personal, but you're still beholden to that denomination if it's a cell group. And as long as you say you're part of that denomination, the, uh, the, um, only denomination is Christ. It's not of Paul. It's not of Apollos. It's not of Cephas. It's of Christ. Um... So people don't get the difference between a house church and a cell church. And it wasn't clear to me either until I started reading books on it, you know. Ralph W. Neighbor, neighbor with a U before the R at the end of the word neighbor, uh, Jr., Dr. Ralph W. Neighbor, Jr., um, and saw what a cell church was through his book. Uh, re, re, uh, Rethinking the Wineskin by Frank Viola. Um, I'd buy that book before I'd buy the next book I'm going to mention. Um, Reimagining Church. It's just, it's a little bit sloppily written and it doesn't, you know, it's just for more of those people, I suppose, that, that like these, you know, long monologues or something. But, um, and I believe there's other books too, at least one other book, probably several other books. Um, Discipling the Multiplying Ministry was one of them. Uh, stuff like that. Um, but Rethinking the Wines given by Frank Viola, I think it's still available. He published so many books that get that get to be unavailable. And um, that's a good book explaining a house church, and I think he did, did, separates the word of cell church. A cell church is a subsidiary of the other church, which is a subsidiary of this denomination here. There's a church, there's a denomination or whatever, or creed, or you know, or you know, I wouldn't say creed, but but you know, doctrines, and then here's the cell church over here answering to here, and this answers to here, and this supposedly answers to Jesus, and you know, Jesus said, I'm not gonna even say that you will speak to me, you will speak on my behalf, or, or I will speak on your behalf to the Father. But your father loves you. And, you know, whatever you ask in my name to him, you'll get what you asked for. Jesus said, I'm returning to my father and your father, to my God and your God. 
And of course, people twist the scriptures and say, well, Jesus was not a deity, but um, he clearly claimed, you know, I am. And if you're Jewish, you know what that means. Okay. So he was either heretic, if you're Jewish, he was either a heretic, or he was God. And I, I, I won't budge from that position. Um, as a Jew, and since Jesus was a Jew. <clears throat> but you're becoming a segmentation of a segmentation in a cell church. Um, you you organize, and, and this can happen in house church too, which is why I'm, I'm, when I say cell church and house church, I'm saying opposite ends of the spectrum. Or maybe a, an extreme of a, 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 um, of, a, of a cell church and an extreme a radicalization, dare I say, of a house church. House churches have no pastor or Bible study leader. You don't get together in someone's home and study the Bible. Not when you can do that with, 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 with somebody privately. Because here's what happens. Okay, let's say there are five people over here that don't know what's going on with the scriptures, and which is very rare. It's more like, you know, few, one or two, and they're in relation to ten. And there are five people over here that know what's going on. You're just wasting five people, five people there's time. Um, we who are living in the Lord, not dead, um, according to the deeds of the flesh, know that God is living in us, that the Holy Spirit speaks through us and is living in us, and we can learn from one another of further God speaking through us. You know, the whole thing about spiritual gifts, which people deny. I think most churches deny spiritual gifts, either in manifestation or in principle. My, my supposedly very biblical church, very, very supposedly biblical church, and, you know, and very, very, you know, tight and everything. Very, 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 very traditional as far as according to the scriptures, supposedly, well, would not allow not only the manifestation of, uh, of spiritual gifts, as far officially anyway, nor would it allow um, the, uh, the idea that spiritual gifts still went on today. As I said before, you're talking about a, what, a 40-year period where after Revelation was written, you no longer need spiritual gifts and God takes them away? Um, the Jews could have said, you know, we've got all the scriptures right now. We don't need, you know, we've lived with these scriptures for hundreds of years. We don't need a new revelation from Jesus Christ. And God said he would shut up uh, the prophets, okay? That you'll long for a word from the Lord and won't receive it. God said, I believe it was Malachi. He said, not, not a thirst of water, you know, but, but a thirst for a word from God. And you're not going to have it. And so, um, even the days of Agabus, or even uh, the days of, uh, I guess this was, was Agabus? Anyway, I think it was Agabus was a prophet in Acts. And he predicted that there would be famine on the land. Well, how do you get that from the Bible? So therefore, it's obvious that you're going to, you're going to receive a word from the Lord that's not in the Bible. Um, because Acts was written, you know, very it was finished very late. So then the, then the, then the Gospels, the quote-unquote Gospels, the, you know, the stories of Jesus, kata mathion, kata, I forget the Greek, um, whatever, you know, kata, all, all these, um, according to Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, um, not the Gospel of, but according to, were, um, why couldn't they have predicted the famine there? Where in the Bible um, does it predict what's, what's, you know, where in the Bible 
you know, if, if there was a famine in, in a Christian land or, or a land where Christians are, then where does it predict a famine in that land? Although we've had them. You talk about what happened in Ethiopia. There was a famine, I believe there was a famine in Ethiopia. Um, I believe there was. And um, also the there was the 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 the, the uh, leaders were take were taking advantage which I think they're going to do over in this country in the United States taking advantage of the problems that were going on in the country to persecute Christians well where is that in the bible